accomplish your marital duty. But you said you have an important meeting and that you came only to take your document. Come I will go later. Okay, I'm going. My God, come to my eternal aid. It is up to you to help me. Do not leave me in the hands of my enemies. Don't let my enemies get the better of me. Dad, don't let my enemies, who are also your enemies, get the better of us. They keep telling me where is your dad. Dad, you from whom nothing is hidden, you know the thoughts of their heart. Dad, release me from their hand and take away my shame. Do not abandon me. Lord, for you are all that I have and all that I am. You are my only support and strength. The Bible states in Psalm 25, verse 3 that everything that hopes in you will not be confused. Dad, I hope in you, I have put all my trust in you. I won't be confused. Make me firm, steadfast, and persevering. I refuse to give up, to let go because I know that the tragedy of my life, through your grace, will become for me an extraordinary blessing and a great testimony. Dad, it's not easy at all, it's very painful, but I know that I will come out of this situation victorious. Without hate, without bitterness, without sick lie, without depression, without anxiety, without injury. But I will come out filled with love, forgiveness, humility, joy, wisdom, spiritual maturity, compassion, honor, and promotion. The Bible states in Psalm 12, 1, God is my deliverance. I will be full of confidence and I will not fear anything, because the Lord the Lord is my strength and the subject of my praise. He saved me. Dad, you are my deliverance and I am full of confidence in you. Dad protect him and takes care of him. Make him see the light through your light according to Psalm 36, verse 10 Dad, I am not going to tell you to forgive him his sins, but I am asking you to forgive us our sins, because you have made us one being. Cleanse us from all iniquity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, you told me in Matthew 5, verse 44, to love my enemies, to bless those who curse me, to do good to those who hate me, and to pray for those who abuse and persecute me so that I may be your daughter, because you make your sun rise on the bad guys and the good guys and you make it rain on the just and the unjust. Dad. I forgive my mother-in-law and Julie. I'm asking you to forgive them because they don't know what they are doing. May the Holy Spirit meets them so that they may give their lives to Jesus and be saved. Dad, I know that you love them and all my enemies give everyone the grace to be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you Dad for listening and fulfilling me. Thank you Holy Spirit for your support in the name of Jesus, I prayed. Amen. Good evening, my darling. How are you, Julie? Have you had a nice day? Good evening, my love. I am better. The doctor prescribed a few products that I took. He also gave me injections. I feel much better. It's going to be fine, sweetie. Courage. Julie, what did the doctor say to you specifically? What is the problem? What did the doctor diagnose? Jerry, I have very good news for you. You are going to be a dad. Jerry, I am pregnant. Wow! Julie, are you telling me the truth? It's not possible. I'm going to be a dad. Julie, what you're telling me it is true. Jerry, I'm telling you the truth. The papers are in a handbag. You can also call the doctor for confirmation. I am pregnant and I am going to give you a pretty boy. I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to have a great boy. I am very happy. Thanks, sweet eye. I'm going to tell my mom. She will be very happy. You know, sweetie, I'm going to transfer $75,000 to your account. It's your first gift after giving birth. I will buy you a very nice and big house and it will be in your name. We will go to the restaurant that you love to celebrate. Starting today, you will no longer do any work for the good of the baby. Thank you darling for all the gifts. You are a treasure. Don't worry sweetie, 
There's no danger no matter what work I'm going to do. Tomorrow, I will go see the doctor personally for more explanations and recommendations if possible. Julie, I am very happy. Me too, darling. Lord, I don't feel well at all. I feel weak and just sleeping a lot. I have to go see the doctor. I won't be able to go to work this morning. I'm going to call them to ask for permission. Lord, thank you for your protection and help. Thanks for watching over me all night. I'm putting the day back in your hands. Protect me. I also entrust Jerry to you. Take care of him in the name of Jesus, I prayed. Amen. Holy Spirit, take me to the hospital, strengthen me and help me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello madam, how are you? And your husband? Doctor? I am well by the grace of God as well as my husband. Doctor? For some time now, I have not felt well at all. I am weak and very tired. I sleep a lot without being satisfied. I am really weird. I'm going to examine you and see what happens. We are going to do some analyses and an ultrasound also at the base of all this, we will make a diagnosis. Okay, thank you doctor. The nurse will take samples from you and take you to the ultrasound room. While waiting for the results, we are going to give you some products. You will be accommodated in suite 215. Okay, thank you doctor. Please, doctor, what are the results? Hope there is nothing serious. No madam, don't worry, it's nothing serious. Congratulations madam, you are going to become a mom doctor. What did you just say? I did not quite understand. Please madam. You are pregnant and everything is fine. There is absolutely no problem. You were carrying a 16-week pregnancy, they were triplets. I couldn't detect the sexes. We'll see him at your next appointment. Congratulations really. Your God is great and amazing. I am going to prescribe some products to strengthen you. See you in two weeks. Okay, thanks for everything doctor. God bless you. I think I'm going to leave. Goodbye doctor and see you in two weeks. Good evening Mrs. Mireille. How are you? Are you sick? What is wrong? Your voice on the phone is not what I am used to hearing. I arrived as soon as I could. Good evening Victor. Thanks for coming Victor Victor. I don't know where to start. What is going on? It's still Victor? No, Victor. God remembered me in my pain. The eternal God Almighty, who remembered Sarah, Elizabeth, remembered me too. The eternal God who is the same today, yesterday, and forever, remembered me. The one and only God of triumph remembered me. He who does not lie has shown me his fidelity and kindness. Victor God removed my shame. I am 16 weeks pregnant. Oh, it's not possible. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord, you are all powerful. You shut the mouth to anyone who made fun of your daughter. You deployed your powerful hand to give your daughter victory. I give you honor and magnificence. You are the one, the true and the only God that I will worship and serve all my life. My house and I will serve you and honor you forever. Wow! Great, great, extraordinary. Tell me Mireille, how did that happen? Where did you see Jerry? Four months ago Jerry came over here to get some documents. That was the day that he asked me to fulfill my conjugal duty, my duty as a wife. I did not refuse. I did not reject him because the Bible states in 1 Corinthians 7, verse 3 to 5. Let the husband gives his wife what she owes and let the wife do the same to her husband. The wife does not have authority over her own body, but it is the husband and in the same way the husband does not have authority over his own body, but it is the woman. My body does not belong to me, but it belongs to Jerry. I have no authority over my body. I obeyed God his word, despite everything I went through, despite my pain. Here is the result. Ultrasound showed that they are triplets. I don't know how to thank the Lord for this grace he has given me. Victor I am moved and overwhelmed. It is not possible. It is a very big miracle. 
if you refused to give yourself to Jerry that day because of Jerry's bad behavior, today you wouldn't be pregnant. If you had said no because of the pain you are going through, it would be over for you. You will have missed your blessing. God has planned and fixed this day for you, for your miracle and for your fulfillment. If you refused and reject your husband because of everything he is doing, if you had pushed him away, you would have missed your miracle. Whatever situations we are going through, we need to have a good attitude, walk according to God's word, otherwise we will miss the miracle. With each passing day, we need to be ready to receive God's grace and blessing. Really, Nurail? I have learned a very big lesson. May God help us. You really are an exceptional woman. Yes, my wife and I were going to send you a maid to help you. I will put a driver at your disposal for all your errands. I am going to deposit $50,000 into your bank account for all of your hospital expenses. Salve will often be with you Mireille. I want the doctor to give you a rest until you give birth. Talk to her when you get there soon. Have you eaten? No, not yet. I only had yogurt and apples. I am going to order you some meals at the restaurant. Do not hesitate to ask Salve to make you meal that you will want to eat. Do you need anything? Yes, Victor. Please buy me yogurt, fruits like strawberries, grapes, and mangoes. I need the butter croissants. Thank you so much Victor. God bless you. Amen. Good evening doctor, how is my wife giving birth? Doctor, help us. We have been waiting my mom and me for over 48 hours. What is the problem? Does she have to be evacuated somewhere? Drive please do something about it. Good evening Mr. Jerry, calm down Mr. Jerry. Your wife has just given birth. The birth was very difficult, but thank God we were able to avoid the worst. Your wife gave birth to a pretty boy. I am blessed. I am a dad. It's great. Can I see my wife and the baby? No, not yet. You are going to wait a bit because your wife is very tired and she needs to rest. We gave her a few products. She is asleep right now. The baby was transferred to pediatric resuscitation. There is nothing to worry about. All is well. Okay, got it. Thank you so much doctor. I can go take a shower and come back. It's not a problem at all. You can even rest and come back tomorrow. I see that you are very tired, especially since you have been awake for several days. Before you left. We are going to take a blood sample from you because we may need it for the baby. The nurse will take you to the sample room. I need to do an emergency C-section. I think I'll leave. Goodbye doctor and thank you very much. Good morning doctor I am very well doctor. I have had a good rest. I have to go to work. But I came this morning to get news about my wife and my son before going to work. How are they doing? They are doing great. Your wife is walking up and she is fine. As for your son, we were unable to use the blood that we took from you. We did a lot of tests yesterday and we found that your blood and your son's blood are incompatible. Mr. Jerry, excuse me for what I am about to say. I really doubt that you are the real daddy of the baby. I would advise you to do a DNA. We need blood for the baby urgently. At the moment we use some products and these products, we cannot use them for more than a month, because it is not possible. I am dreaming or what? I can't believe it, it's unthinkable. Mr. Jerry, don't freak yourself out. Maybe we were the ones who made mistakes. Keep calm and talk to your wife calmly. Drive it is not possible. Is my wife cheating on me? This baby is not mine. Mr. Jerry. Keep calm and talk to your wife calmly. Mr. Jerry, keep calm and talk to your wife calmly. Hello Julie, darling, how are you? Hi Jerry, sweetie, I'm fine. I feel much better. Where is the baby? I haven't seen him yet. How is he doing? Who does he look like? The baby is fine, he is in pediatrics for whatever. You'll see him later. Jerry I am so happy for our son. It is wonderful that we both have a child. It's great. You are very happy for your son and not for our son. But Jerry, why do you say my son? It's your son. Mireille who is the father of your child? 
How can you ask me who is the father of my child? Are you not the daddy? Don't I live with you? Isn't you my husband? What is this stupid question you're asking me? You are the real daddy of this kid. I don't know where you got this nonsense from instead of thanking me for giving you a child. You're here talking nonsense. I took away your shame. You've never been a dad in your whole life and you never will be if I didn't know you. Your barren and useless wife was unable to give you a child during the 20 years of marriage. I am only giving you a child in three years of relationship, you are not thanking me. Jerry you are very ungrateful. Julie you're sick. You're crazy. You need psychiatrists. Your infidelity makes your head spin. Beware if you mention my wife again. You are a light-hearted woman, an infidel. Jerry, you're not normal, you have a mental disorder, you're not stable. Julie if you don't tell the truth, your son is going to die. We need his dad to take care of him. If you really love your son, you better tell the truth, otherwise your son is going to die. You think I'm stupid, backward. I'm going to leave you here with your baby. Call his dad to come and take responsibility, because I overdid it. Jerry forgive me, forgive me, Jerry, please. I cheated on you. You are not the baby's daddy. His dad is called Jill and we are together. It's been five years. When I met you, I kept seeing him. Forgive me, don't give up on me. I love you Jerry. You're sick. Despite everything I did for you and your parents. You dared to betray me. You had the nerve to bring me another man's pregnancy. You are cynical and selfish. You only thought about yourself alone. Have you only thought about your best interests? You didn't think about me or the child. You don't know the pain you're putting the child into. You're more than a murderer. Goodbye Julian be careful if you come home or call me. Forgive me, Jerry don't let me down, don't leave me. Nonsense. Because of you. I left my wife behind. I made her suffer. You wanted to take advantage of me. You failed. Julie. What am I going to do without you? Don't leave me. Nonsense. I never want to see you again. Good morning Mr. Chairman and CEO. Hello Secretary. What do you want? Please CEO there is a very serious and urgent problem. We have just been told that the two boats that transport our goods have been hijacked by pirates and we can no longer find their trace despite all the sacrifices that the specialized services have made. The search is continuing and we will have news in two weeks at the latest. If they can spot them. If not, they can't do anything for us anymore. Oh well, that is not possible. What is going on? Call me the general manager. Please, Mr. CEO. The Director General went to see the Port Services for more information. Okay, got it. Thanks! Ask the Director to come see me when he returns. Okay, sir. Message received. Thanks. God, help me, I'm finished. Forgive me because I have sinned terribly against you. Help. Help. I accused you. I dishonored my wife. I humiliated her. I destroyed my life. Help. Help dad, I'm begging you, I'm the prodigal child coming home. Help, dad and pity me. I ask for your mercy, your forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Brothers and sisters part 4 of this video is coming. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.